So if you look at the bottom of the page, there are a bunch of different ways to draw molecules in addition to the way that we drew them on Friday. The one that says structural, structural formula is actually what I call ball and stick model. That's what we're going to use today, so that's how we're going to draw things. But any of these are acceptable. So, let's get started. 215. Drawing molecules. With all the stick model. All right, so let's look at how we drew things before and what we're going to change. So before. say it was uh, H2O for example, right? So what we would do with the dot structures is we would draw the O, we put the dots on it, and then we would attach the hydrogens, and then they would share their electrons, and this is how we did it. And then these little pairs of electrons, that would be our covalent bonds. Covalent bond is another. Okay, now today what we're going to do is we're going to replace the two dots, which represent the covalent bond, with just a line. And then we're going to throw out the extra electrons that aren't bonds. This will be today. H2O again. So we're just going to draw our oxygen, and then we're just going to put a line to the hydrogen, and another line. And this line is the covalent bond. It still represents two electrons. We're just using a line because it's faster to draw a line than it is to draw two dots. I guess that's why we're using it. And then we're not putting the extra four electrons. We know they're there. We know there's four more electrons out there. We don't care. We, we know what it's supposed to look like at this point because we've done that. So that's it. Alright, let's do a few more and see what they look like. Let's draw carbon tetrafluoride. Before I draw it, what's the formula? CF4. CF4, right? Okay, so you should remember from Friday with dot structures, fluorine has seven dots and seven valence electrons, so it can only make one bond to something. So all the fluorines have to attach to the carbon. So we're going to draw a carbon in the middle, and then we're just going to attach all of our fluorines. And that's it. We don't have to draw all the other six electrons around each fluorine. We know they're there. The carbon, we can see all of its electrons. Each stick is two electrons, so it's got to see. But we know the other electrons are here, so we're not going to do that. You know, we don't need all of them. Good? Yep. All right. Let's do a couple more. Let's do ammonia. Also known as nitrogen trihydride. Okay, so what's going to go in the middle here? N. N, because there's three hydrogens, just one nitrogen. So for all the drawings I give you today, whatever there's one of, that's what's going to go in the middle. And then on any three sides, you can put the hydrogens. And wherever you don't put them, we know there's two other electrons there filling up that space. That's it. Um, let me give you one with a double bond. Just to show you how to draw a double bond this way. So if we have something like CO2, you remember from Friday that that had a double bond. So all you're going to do is two lines. That's four electrons. And the same thing on the other side. This one has two double bonds, one on each side. Draw like that. Yeah. So a double bond looks like an equal sign, which makes sense because a single bond is the line. Um. If I give you something where there's only one of each, then obviously you're just going to stick them together. So if I had like, um, I don't know, HI, right? You would just, there's a bond between them. That's all. I lost that. Huh? No. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, uh, you have a quiz on this, don't worry. Um, well, before I talk about it, then? Yeah, it'll be like so. All right, we're done. Questions? Nope. All right. There are five, six, the double one of the home. Yeah, there will be two. It'll be the same 